Welcome back to IO, I'm your Bacon King, Johnny Rogers, and if you happen to be new here, we take the most interesting news stories on the internet and then make them more entertaining. So to never miss another story, click that subscribe button. Plus, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, we got them all. Except Tumblr. Maybe we have Tumblr. Jared, do we have Tumblr? No Tumblr. Everything else is good though. And make sure you stay all the way until the end because that's where I handpick some of your comments and read them out. After watching the Netflix documentary Bob Lazar, Area 51, and Flying Saucers, I am more primed and ready than ever to believe that there are really aliens out there. Stories like these never really sparked any curiosity in my mind due to the fact that we have, well, aliens on Earth. They just happen to live in the ocean. Nonetheless, let's dig into some shocking new alien evidence that's popping around Mars, shall we? Recently, while the Curiosity rover was roaming the red planet, NASA snapped a photo that shook many to their core. In the black and white image that shows a dark, rocky hillside, a completely unexplained light source can be seen in the distance. On the more logical side of things, the light could be explained in a variety of different ways. For one, it could simply be a cosmic ray, it could be a camera lens flare, or even just the sun reflecting off of the rocks. However, that would abruptly end this video, so that's no fun. Fun. What is fun is theorizing what else it could possibly be. Justin Mackey, the leader of the team that built and operates the Curiosity rover, said that in the thousands of images we've received from Curiosity, we see ones with bright spots nearly every week. The fact that this is coming from the camera's operator who is assessing these photos on a nearly constant basis makes this photo that much more interesting to gaze upon and just imagine what could be on Mars. This isn't even the first time, as Justin said, that the rover has caught this creepy white light on Mars. Back in 2014, the light was spotted again glowing in the background of their shots. Then in 2018, there was another photo of the odd light for which NASA initially attributed to just being a meteorite. Honestly though, if it were an alien or an alien base, why would they tell us straight up? It would only cause widespread panic. But in a mission update, NASA addressed the light by saying, the planning team thinks it might be a meteorite because it is so shiny, but looks can deceive and proof will only come from the chemistry. Since the Curiosity rover has landed on Mars in 2013, it has taken thousands of photos which are truly breathtaking to look at. This other world exists, looks similar to our own and is virtually untouched. Yet with all this talk of it potentially being some microbial life on on another planet, what many don't realize is that the Curiosity rover has actually already found life on Mars, although not in the way that most of us would think. The sign of life the rover detected was methane. As reported by the New York Times, the Curiosity rover detected a sudden spike in methane, which if confirmed means that some sort of microbial life may actually be living under the surface of the red planet. For more on this, we have to look at the initial tweet sent out by the official Curiosity rover Twitter page, which says, something in the air tonight. I detected the largest amount of methane ever during my mission, 21 parts per billion by volume. While microbial life can be a source of methane on Earth, methane can also be made by interaction between rocks and water. That being said, even if it's just evidence of water being on the surface, that's still really exciting. Paul Mahaffey of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center said in a news release that with their current measurements, they really have no way of telling whether or not the methane source is biology or geology, or even ancient or modern, which is really interesting to consider and follow up tests are currently being done just to confirm these findings. NASA does say that they have found methane in the past, but originally believe that the planet has these sort of kind of seasonal highs and lows of it. We want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below if you think you know what that mysterious white light is. Now while you mull that one over, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, If you see a water bottle behind your tire, call the police. Juan Taruco Sanchez says, I'm sorry baby. King, but please practice your Spanish or have someone else say it. I cringed and laughed. Adios mio. Was that better? Joel Angel says, Johnny saying the title in Spanish made my day. He does better than when he speaks French. Merci beaucoup. Philip Franco says, they can have the car as long as they don't lay a hand on my butterfinger. <laughs> Can't even get through your comments today, guys. Look, if they're going to steal your car, pretty sure that butterfinger is a sign from God that they stole the right car. Ballistic says, K, I'm going to rob cars now. 
now. Hey, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Mike Plays says, if you see crust on your bread, call the police. No, finish your crust like an adult. I hate that, I hate when people leave their crust. Eat it, eat it all. Thank you for watching Inform Overload, and if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. If you find any new stories that you want us to cover, make sure you send the link in a DM to our Instagram page, at Inform Overload, and if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the side of the screen. From IO, my name is Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.